Okay, f for our final section here, um, we need to talk about uh, another way to solve a quadratic equation. Now, you know, we've come up with uh, and been studying in this semester several different ways that we can solve quadratic equations. And just to clarify, remember, a quadratic equation is something in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Some number in front of the squared variable, some number with just the plain variable, and then a constant. Now, any one of those numbers could be a 1. Um, this last number could be a 0 even. But whenever we see quadratics, we see things like, you know, 2x squared plus 5x minus 4, something like that. Uh, anything that's in that form that has the highest power of x, something squared. That's what we're talking about when we say quadratic. Okay, so now we, we talked a lot and had almost an entire chapter on factoring. We could factor and solve, um, you know, and that was where we were, we threw down our parentheses and, and tried to figure out, you know, x times x and what, what times what would multiply together and then add to get the middle term. That was our factoring method of solving a quadratic. Now, in the last section, we also talked about completing the square, which is another um, avenue that you can use to solve these quadratics, anything in that form. Now we're going to talk about another way, and this is called the quadratic formula, and this is what it looks like. Now, the nice thing about the quadratic formula is that it doesn't matter whether you can factor it or not, you can still use the quadratic formula. Uh, it doesn't matter whether, you know, it's got fractions or decimals or, um, you know, all kinds of weird things. Sometimes things are much more difficult to look at factoring wise, you know, because maybe fractions, decimals, maybe numbers that um, maybe it won't factor at all. Um, the quadratic formula will always work though, no matter what, when you're solving a quadratic. Now, we have here the quadratic formula which says x equals negative b or the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a. Now, where we're going to get these numbers, don't forget our quadratic is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So I think that the best thing to do when you're given a quadratic is to just list out a equals, b equals, and c equals, meaning these numbers that are in front of your variables and then your constant term. If you can identify your a, b, and your c, then it's just a matter of plugging the numbers in where they go and then simplifying. So now in the next video we're going to take a problem and we're going to do it both ways by factoring and then also by completing the square so that you can see how this works.